Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.5. Now as you probably know, we're currently on the second beta of iOS 18.5 and it's coming out sometime in May. Now this is a smaller update compared to iOS 18.4 but it still has a few cool new features and changes that will come to your iPhone once it gets released to the public. So in today's video we're taking a look at 10 cool new features that you will get on your iPhone with the new iOS 18.5. Now we're starting things off with a feature that has actually been bought back from iOS 18.4 beta. Now on iOS 18.4 if you would use the backdap feature you would get a band right here on your device which would show you that the back tap feature has actually been enabled like you can see right there it says back tap detected now a lot of people seem to disagree with me but this is actually in my opinion a very very useful feature why because if you have this feature enabled I'm talking about back tap you know that a lot of times it will invoke it by accident now if I invoke back tap by accident and my device just take a screenshot like it did before I wouldn't know what happened but in this case I will have that banner right there that showed me that I just have invoked the back tab feature even though in some cases I might not intend to but it it will basically let you know what it has happened at that minute and not let you wondering why my device just took a screenshot. Another cool thing is that that feature does actually have now a button which can enable or disable it. Now if you just decide you don't need it or you don't want to use it, you can just go ahead and head on to your settings, then go under accessibility right here, go to touch and then find back tap right here and then you will have show banner. This is a switch basically that allows you to enable or disable this new feature. Now there have been a few changes with the mail app as well. Now on the mail app you know that on iOS we have now this new update that allows us to see the contacts photos. Now you can actually disable or enable those photos. Now you could also do this previously but you had to go through the settings of the mail app in order to do that. Now when you just have those three dots right there you will be able to show the contacts photo directly from here. So you tap the three dots we can enable or disable the contacts photos and of course also right here you can switch from the categories to the list view. Now what's really cool here, a smaller change but it will basically let a lot of people know about a feature here so you know when you're at your categories right here you will have your primary, you will have your promotions and everything else there. There is also another category right here for all mail. Now this used to be hidden before, it was completely hidden, it wouldn't show right here at all. Now it actually does show right there at the corner of the screen letting you know that you basically have another category right there which you can pull from the right side here to the left and this way show all the mail that you have on this inbox. And now when you go to your settings and you go at the top of the settings at your Apple ID, when you see your devices right there you will have a list of devices and you will also have the Apple Care information right there. So when you go to any of your devices you can now tap on Apple Care here it will show you all the details you need to know regarding that device. Now of course we had those devices previously on the list right there under iCloud but it didn't show you all the information you need to know regarding Apple Care. Now there's a new way here to basically access your Apple Care info for any of the devices that are linked to your iCloud account. And also under the general settings when you go to general and you go to your Apple Care and basically warranty you will now see a new information page here regarding your devices. So it shows basically a lot more details regarding the coverage of that device and then it will show you also here a section where you can learn more about your benefits and also a new way here to quickly open the Apple support app of course if you have it installed on your device and then you can go ahead and get more help with that product. Now if you have enabled screen time on your device you can now customize the screen time notifications. The way to do that head on to your settings go under notifications find screen time here 
And once you find screen time, you can scroll all the way down here and you will have customized notifications and you will be able to customize notifications for weekly report. And also you will get other customization options if you have more features of the screen time enabled on your device. So if you have downtime and you have restrictions and all that, they will basically pop up right here under the customization section. Now, if you have screen time enabled for your kids and you manage them through your iPhone, then you will have here a new screen time management section. Basically, the ability to manage screen time in one section. You don't have everything spread out. You will have a new section right here. We will have all the toggles and all the tools that you need to manage the screen time. So all you have to do is just head on to your settings, go under screen time and at the bottom right here, just under the content and privacy restrictions, you will now find a new screen time management section. Now, one of the coolest new features of iOS 18.5 has actually been removed with beta 2, but I'm very confident this is coming out with the public release of iOS 18.5. So we had a feature here under the recently deleted where you had basically two different buttons right here. Just besides the arrows, we had to recover all and delete all a really quick way to delete everything or just recover everything that you have on your recently deleted folder. So basically that was a feature that was first introduced on iOS 18.4 betas and then it was removed. Now it has been introduced with the first beta of iOS 18.5 and removed again with the second beta, but hopefully very soon with the next betas, it will come back to iOS 18.5 and most likely with the public release, it will finally be here. And finally, if you live in UK, you have now satellite messaging, which has been enabled with iOS 18.5 to UK users. That's a great news. A lot of users will be able to actually take, take advantage of this amazing feature. But when can we expect this update to be released and what to expect next from Apple? Well, most likely this Monday on the 21st, we will actually get the third beta of iOS 18.5. I think it will go through four beta stages, giving the build number of the last beta and ending with an F. So I'm expecting a fourth beta right here on the 28th. Most likely the fifth or the sixth will be the RC version. And then the 12th of May should be the day that Apple actually releases iOS 18.5 to the public. So we'll have to wait for the third beta to see if we get any other small features or changes because it won't be like a big update with a lot of new features, but pretty solid. And we have to wait and see if there will be anything new with the next couple of betas. So that's pretty much it for this video guys this is ios 18.5 and basically everything that you will get new with this update when it gets out to the public because even though there might be some improvements maybe that delete all recover all feature coming back i don't think there will be any other big new features added to this update as we're now we're getting very close to the release of the first beta of ios 19 and everything will be focused towards that but again it's a pretty solid update so we can't wait to see it released to the public so again thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one